So, you know, there's a history between these two. I'm interested to see what this Fox Duo looks like. Yes, it'll look different than some of the other yeah. top-level Fox Dudas we've seen yeah. for sure. Um, I suspect still you're going to see a lot of Fadeback Drill. Nice. The conversions like that are going yeah. to be huge. Both these players, one thing I will say is they both have that opportunistic quality to them. Yeah. Nice. Tried, I think he tried to do the Aklaz D. <laughs> the what? Aklo SDI. Oh, I call I it Aklaz D. It just didn't quite make it off the flat. It'll catch on, I swear. Okay, Aklo messing up a little bit there. Yeah. Wanted to dash up some. Yeah, he was able to save it, though, and ends up getting the stock anyway. Yeah, these stocks are going to continue to fly off like this. That is the way that the matchup goes. It's funny because when you're playing a Fox Ditto, it feels like committing really hard is usually the wrong thing to do. Um, and that's because when you do and you get hit, it is basically just over for you. I mean, that's what happens when you, you know, glass cannon mirrors. Yeah, that's, that's the break. just what happens, yeah. Nice bait. Yeah. I like the instant nair there. Didn't even give enough time uh, for Aklo to like, react properly to what was going to happen. Yeah, it was definitely a good choice. Like the back air. Uh, yeah. Laser damage. You know, my heart told me reverse fair. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it would have worked with that DI. But still an excellent conversion. We are tied half time, more or less. Wow. Four stocks in a minute and a half. Yeah. You'd love to see it. Yeah. And it's like there's a little bit of scrapping, but most of the time it's just a huge confirm. There's another one from Kem killing off the top of Battlefield at a mere 90%. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff that reminds you that Fox is actually like when he dies off the top at 90. It's yeah, just a little bit low with the side B. There is a less of a margin for error on Battlefield than the other maps. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, Kem takes the first game. That's what we were saying. It's certainly possible. And they are both looking extremely sharp in terms of punish. Yeah. Um, in neutral, they're both able to like emerge with the big party starters that they need mm -hmm. to get those big punishes going. Um, so I guess the real question is, for the rest of the set, who's going to find more of them? Nice shine to escape from Aklo. Yeah, that is a spot um, as Fox where you can't truly, you can't easily truly cover all of the options. Yeah. Um, for the tech chase, so you sort of have to take the guess. It's like slightly better than a 50-50. Okay. Aklo too used to playing the hacks money, so deciding to grab the ledge there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Up smash. Good recognition on the miss tech, able to get the up smash for a finisher. Gotta hit your techs. Either said than done, but yeah, now it's gonna hurt. Often, like if you just, I bet if you just take the amount of techs missed from two foxes and a fox mirror, probably 90% of the time, the one who misses less yeah, true. ends up ahead. Because the punishes can get so big if you miss attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some spots where it's good to do it on purpose, I guess, like you're sliding off the edge or something. But Yeah, Aklo doesn't really have like the up air tech chase uh, tree like you're used to seeing, you know, from like Lefinera, Armada, um, Fox did us. Yeah. Oh, I mean, maybe part of that is like, yeah, you're right. That is a little different. Because um, the traditional way, right, um, I'm about to break it down again, <laughs> uh, is you either go for the up air that covers tech in place and no tech, or you can just like wait and then cover either yeah, roll yeah, with yeah. an up air. Um, or some mixture of those. Like you could, if you're really confident they're going to roll, you can like wave light on grab or something. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's probably part of the reason Aklo does those back, air, uh, back throws, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to deal with the platform follow-up. And there's a lot of counterplay to the platform follow-up, so that may be the reason. Clutch short from Aklo, not to just fly off the stage. Crucial tech there from Aklo. Yeah, a nice crouch is going to give a platform tech chase opportunity. A little late. I feel yeah. it's almost, it's basically impossible to react to that in time. Just a standard get up. I feel like consistently Aklo has been slow in that spot. Yeah, nice and Kemp keeps there. getting up in place. Down smash, great choice. Aklo now up a stock, but down a game. <laughs> Don't boo. Crowd being funny. Yeah. They are mashing buttons in each other's faces. It's like Tekken. <laughs> Don't tell the Tekken players. <laughs> I'm so like, I'm gonna be gonna under be fire. I don't, I don't know that much about Tekken. Yeah. I'm just being funny. 
You're like, no, it's actually like really no, deep. I, like, no, I know it is. It's just, you, have you heard Tekken players where they're in a scramble? Yeah, like they're, they're yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, good reaction there. I like that. Yeah. And just as convincingly, Aklo wins game two, so we are exactly even with set. Will it be all Battlefield? <laughs> There's a non-zero chance, right? I mean, they're both from New York, right? It's like one of those cliches. It's like, oh, man, players from New York love Battlefield. But that has not been true for, like, ten years. Seven, ten years, yeah. yeah. No, we're going to dream around. This is, um, I found this to be a chem choice recently. Um, which kind of makes sense. He's, like, kind of a movement-focused fox, right? Like, he really likes to do the dance. Mm -hmm. And then he's good at emerging out of it. Yeah. Uh, victorious. Kem, fe Kem feels like he plays neutral, like, in my imaginary, what I think, like, the spirit of Melee is. You yeah, know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Like, it's very, um, it feels like he's earned every hit that he gets. And uh, he doesn't do a ton of chump checking, in my opinion. No. No, not much at all. Except maybe, it is sometimes called for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to. Sometimes you back throw off stage because you need to. Right. <laughs> Like, there's no reason to not do it if your opponent shows that they're not capable of dealing with it, you know? But Akko is just too good. That, so. Now that is an excellent tech chase. I think one of the things that's really kept Kem in the set is his tech chase, especially on platforms, has been superior. Yeah, it it's has like been flat stronger. It's like flat sure. out stronger. Oh, I like that. A shine. Pineapple? Another, yeah. Yeah. What well, are they cheering for? For Kem. Sounds like for Kem. <laughs> I thought maybe they were crying out in distress, you know? <laughs> Just like some dude fell and broke his leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Akla cleans it up. Uh, that is commentary. Commentator's curse, I think. I'm not going to take the point for that one. <laughs> nice tech chase. Oh, the claws deep. The claws deep. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I feel so supported right now. <laughs> I love Way Shine Down Tilt. Yeah, me too. It is actually one of my favorite follow ups. Um, I think underused overall. Damn. Yeah, Kem with an even stronger response than Aklo's. I think Kem caught Aklo wave dashing out of shield towards the ledge there, and that's why Aklo's DI was so bad on that air. You know, in this matchup, yes. <laughs> in this matchup, I just had a thought. It's okay. Um, you know, sometimes they say, like, oh, this person likes to have space or whatever. Yeah. Um, I feel like Aklo, you remember we were talking about when he was playing against 404 Cray earlier, that like he sort of like ignores the fact if there's lower, if there's a less or more space and finds a way to get into the same situation yeah, yeah, over yeah. and over. That has to be harder to do on larger stages against a fast character, yeah. especially with lots of plats, right? That being said, that was a extremely clean punish from Aklo yeah. there. Like super smart to wait for the air dodge. He got the second place, first time. Yeah, shine back air big. A lot of Kem fans. I guess he's the remaining local hero, right? Yeah. As Philadelphia as it gets. Okay. Nice dash back out of Crouch. I think wanted to run off shine there and just messed up the timing. Yeah, Kem's hitting these tech chases. Yeah, Kem's punish game really is incredible right now. Quite uh, consistently. And you remember, we were talking about a set versus J move, which did not go very well. Yeah. The real reason we thought that was was because his conversion rate was low. So if yeah. he keeps up this level of sharpness, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying he's necessarily going to move on. I'm not counting uh, any chickens yet. Especially since Zaklo was up a stock yeah. now after that good edge card. All right, corner pressure here. Nice tech chase from Aklo. Well, keeping it going. Yeah, picking up the punish game a little bit. Forward smash, interesting choice. I guess it really destroys, like, DI away, right? Yeah, I think he may have also wanted to dash attack and just got forward smash. Uh, I can see that. Kind of looked like a pivot. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Nice. Okay, we're even on stocks again. Two stocks apiece. I mean, in this matchup, yeah. anything can happen. Yeah, definitely true. Kem has shown that his punish game is strong enough to get it done. Um, and I think in order to get back in the game, that's what he's going to need. Yeah. Because Aklo looks willing to me to play a nickel and dime. I'm going to put on some percent and get that final hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and probably the same will be true for this stock. And this is the way Aklo likes to play, right? 
Um, get a little percent here and there without incurring too much risk yourself. Dude. I like the first air dodge, the second one, of course, an accident. Yeah. Wanted to tech there and just was a little... Oh, but an insane read. This, yes, this punish game has been incredible. Let's see if he can do it again. I think wanted reverse snare and then yeah. maybe a down smash on the platform or something like that. Oh, Kem's got the mix-ups. You know, they're making me want to play Melee. That's how you know you're watching good Melee. They're making me want to play. Oh, the dash JC shine? Mad Lad. Off oh. the screen, reads the mid yeah. short. And the thing is, you know what? You know why Kem's a top player? Because Aklo's the only guy in the world that has those on deck like that, mm -hmm. right? And Kem went for the hard read on the mid short, and he's like, I know who I'm playing right now. If there's a mid short to be had, my opponent's going to go for it.